Hello there, and welcome back to my channel, which is always exciting. Wait, okay. <laughs> Alright, so today I just wanted to talk about diet. Yay! <laughs> right now, I am trying to do be better about eating healthy. Um, not intentionally, but the last, I'd say the past 12 months, I haven't been eating my best, and it's for various reasons. You know, definitely stress is definitely one of them. Um, I've been consistent with my workouts, but you can't outwork a bad diet, a consistent bad diet. And I will go more into detail on why I, um, what started it all, I guess. And she does not want to be in my video once again. Anyway, back to the video. I unintentionally, or it wasn't really planned, but technically I took a year off of dieting. And at first, it was nice, it was nice not to have to really count macros or really look into anything like I just ate whatever I felt like and I think it's because I had done a really really strict diet for a month that was really intense and don't get me wrong like it definitely worked but fast diets are just not the best because they're too much, I feel like they're just too much in your body, especially when you're not used to it. It's a really drastic change, and then it's really, you know, drastic for your mind as well. So after I was done with those five weeks of this strict dieting, I, I don't know, I think I just mentally just wanted, I felt so deprived that I just felt like I needed to eat everything like pizza, candy, and even when I wasn't craving things, I'd like still eat them. Which is totally weird, like, why would I force myself to eat something? But I think it was definitely something that did affected me in a negative way. I mean, I wasn't like binge eating, I wasn't like an eating disorder either. I just wasn't making the best choices for my, for myself. And by no means was I ever starving myself because I, I love food way too much. No, thank you. But yeah, I, I feel like I just definitely um, felt restricted and I ate whatever I wanted. So a year later, I feel like crap. <laughs> I'm literally feeling sick and um, just slower with my, metab my metabolism has definitely slowed down. And I just, overall, I just don't feel my best. I am getting my workouts in and it helps, but I'm not feeding my body properly for those workouts. So it's definitely, you know, gotten the, gotten the toll on me to say so. Today I wanted to talk about or wanted to show you guys one of my go-to healthy meals at the moment. It's something that I've been eating more regular lately. So what I've started to do is meal prep for work because if I don't meal prep I, I end up eating out and then on the weekends I'm a little more free so but still I'll try to eat at least uh, two healthy meals a day. During the week I either have eggs, some turkey, turkey, turkey sausage, and some chocolate protein pancakes. Or, and I haven't bought protein, but when I have protein, then I make like some, just a yummy shake in the morning. Cause I, I'm just not, I don't wake up with the biggest appetite. If I'm waking up at 8 a.m. or 6 a.m., I just don't have a huge appetite. So smoothie on the go is perfect. However, if I'm sleeping in, then I do wake up with a bit more of an appetite, and that's when I'll eat my, my eggs and my turkey and, you know, all of that good stuff. And then for lunch, I'll have my, you know, my meal prepped, and then dinner, I'll just uh, uh, try to opt for, you know, veggies and protein. If it was a leg day, then I'll definitely have some uh, rice or carbs of some sort because I end up very, very hungry after my leg day sessions. So I'm taking it slow. Um, how I'm dealing with cravings is I do my best to make the better choices for myself. But if I'm truly, truly craving something, then I'll have it. Because if not, I, I feel like I'll feel restricted and I'll go back to that unhealthy eating. So that's what I'm doing now. So yeah. I, I just want to eat better so that I can feel better, pretty much. I think I've blabbled on for long enough, so let's go ahead and cut to the part where I show you my go-to meal of the moment. Right. Okay guys, so you're going to need some garlic. I chopped some garlic up, some onion, 
chop it up. Um, it's going to be for your ground turkey. You can replace that with meatless ground turkey or, you know, any other substitute you'd like. A choice of veggies, I chose artichokes. I'm going to steam these. And then I got some spinach pasta from Whole Foods, also made out of uh, artichoke inulin, inulin. But it has 7 grams of protein per serving, I believe, so yes. And then some organic tomato sauce and some vegetable oil for cooking. You could definitely substitute that if you'd like as well. Okay guys, get your pot of hot water ready and heat up your pan. Make sure to add some oil on the pan and also in your pot of water, just a little bit. And then after that, go ahead and add your garlic and onion onto the pan. Make sure you've spread around the oil beforehand on the pan. Go ahead and add your ground turkey on the pan and then what you're going to do is just mash it all up. Um, I like to have mine into like kind of small chunky pieces. Put a little lid over it and let it steam and I usually do this in medium high. Um, then go ahead and add your spinach pasta in the pot. At this time go ahead and steam up your asparagus. I bought the microwavable kind heating up for three minutes. And then once your meat is ready, go ahead and pour your tomato sauce all over it. And make sure that you blend it all in, you know, mix it all in. And then afterwards, go ahead and put a little lid over it and let it steam for a bit. And then check on your pasta. Once it's ready, go ahead and drain it out so you can get all the water out of the pasta. And once my asparagus is ready, I go ahead and chop up the ends because they're too hard to chew for me. And plus they fit better in my Tupperware. And now we're all done. And all we have to do is put them in some Tupperware. I'm not the best chef, so this may not look as pretty, but guys, it tastes awesome. It's super easy, super cheap. I think the most I spent was like 10 bucks to make this. So yeah. Oh my God, guys, I desperately need a haircut. I think it's gonna be a year soon. <laughs> my nails need to be done too. I need to take care of myself. All right guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, this is a meal that I tend to make a lot right now. So I'll either make the healthy spaghetti or I'll just put um, some taco powder. I'll add taco powder to the ground jerky. And then um, I'll have like a side of rice and some veggies. You know, I always opt for either broccoli or asparagus. And then I'll like slice some lime and you know, sprinkle it on and that usually tastes good too and um, I, I just tend to like make things that are easy and fast once I get tired of those meals then I'll find something else so yeah that's usually what I do um, I hope this week wasn't too boring um, I hope it was still enjoyable and uh, <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not my usual like energetic self I'm just uh, going through mother nature <laughs> Oh god, I think that's TMI. That's TMI. Okay, you didn't need to know that. Rewind. <laughs> Alright. Guys, I heart you. I love you. And I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Literally just got lip gloss on my face. Oh, my hair. I mean, oh god. <laughs> I think it's fogged up the lens. It did. <laughs> Turkey sauce to the. A minute, just take your time. Ah! Princess Emma's drop cheese.